Danny and thank you for watching. I hope you will enjoy this video as we run a trap line in southern Arizona. So we just pulled up to the first trap today and it looks like we caught us a coyote. That's something I've always wanted to do with these cage traps. This is very rare but we caught it in this cage here. It's really neat. So uh, first trap of the day. I hope we have a few bobcats um, but we're just gonna let's just get this back to this coyote really quickly. A lot of people out here. Go on. But this is our 22. We're just gonna Load it up and be off. Okay, so just came up to it. the second trap of the day, and it looks like we caught a mean old badger. Most of the it's not happy at all. That's the first one in my life. That's really neat. Testing, <laughs> but he stinks really bad. Trapping in rural and urban environments. There's a road right, right off off where my trap is set here in the wash so just got a little kitty we're just gonna let her go just let her go keep this door open here there we go Bye -bye, kitty. fifth trap today and we caught ourselves a nice looking tomcat we already checked him out so he's definitely a Tom. He's a, definitely not very happy. You can see he's got some scars there. And he's definitely going to be coming home with us. He's got, got a good amount of size on him. He's got a lot of good spots. So we're going to keep this cat. We, we caught him with a little a bobcat foot there and then a little bit of a piece of fur with some eyeballs on it. And that always seems to work really well. And then that squeaking bird back there in the back. So... We're going to go ahead and get this guy dispatched and then show you how he looks and I'll show you the Okay, so we just um, got finished getting this guy dispatched and now we're going to um, open the cage up and pull him out. It looks like he's a nice, good sized tom here. He has a good size. He's got some heavy weight to him here. Oh, yeah, he's got some size. That's a nice looking cat. Pretty good spots. Pretty well defined even down here. They're usually faded down there, so that's pretty neat. So now we're going to re re and remake the set. He didn't tear a lot of brush off the cage, so I think that's good to go. And this is the fourth cat I've caught in this cage, so um, I think my removing techniques work pretty well. I'm no expert, but I think they work good enough. So, same paw, we just throw that back in the back of the cage. I have a whole assortment of lures, and I'll re-lure the whole set, even if you just lured that set yesterday. Or uh, I'll just relure and put every single lure back in that in the back of the trap there, and that seems to be working. <coughs> so put a little bit of the powder of the paste bait, throw that back there. Uh, I'll put a little bit of some bobcat glands. Just a little stick full of that stuff. Then I'll put a little bit of. Mink glands, really good. Curiosity lure, one of my favorites. And then we'll use a little bit of skunk. And skunk essence is definitely my favorite call lure, as I've said many times uh, in previous videos. Just put a good amount of that stuff and I'll put that right on top of the set here. It really attracts them from a distance, and they really like to feel that stuff. Then after that, we have this little squeaking birdie that is destroyed, so we're going to put a new one in there. This one. So I'll just throw that right back there, and then I'll get my pillow feathers here, and throw them back there. And that adds to some eye appeal like a dead bird is in the trap. So then we'll just put all that lure back in the bag. Um, and then after that, what I'm going to like to do is get dirt and just throw it all back in there. And a lot of this dirt here has bobcat urine all over it, so you don't need any more bobcat urine. Um, to put around your set because it's got <coughs> just quite enough. And then 
to hear that birdie squeaky. Make sure the set works. And that's about all I do. Okay, so we just caught a little kitten. This is the third cat in one day. A really nice little pretty kitten, but still a kitten. We're gonna let him go get us, you know, be reading for us in years to come. Maybe we can catch him next year. Let's, well, we're gonna go ahead and release this final tray. And I'm just gonna stick that stick out. And you're good. Let me get out of here. Good to go. So we're just gonna tip the cage a little on this side. You can hear that Tweety bird that I got in there. Visual. Sound aid. 